What's going on guys? Boss of Basics here, back to another video, and today, well, let's just say folks, happy Exodus Day! Let's get around the campfire and listen to one of the best thrash metal bands of all time. The thrash metal just extraordinaires, Exodus. Their new album, Persona Non Grada, I just got done listening to. This is their 11th uh, studio album. Uh, a little bit of back history. This band formed in 1979 in Richmond, California. And they're famous for, you know, doing their first ever album, Bonded by Blood, that had uh, not the current vocalist, actually, um, Steve Souza. He would actually join in 86 and um, on uh, Pleasures of the Flesh, um, Fabulous Disaster, um, Impact is Imminent, Forge of Habit, and then he would be on Temple of the Dam in 04, and then he would be in uh, Blood and Blood, and then this album. Um, Exodus actually had a, another, they've had three vocalists uh, on like three separate eras. Their first album, Bonded by Blood in 85, was actually Paul Bailoff. Um, but some, like, issues with him that led the Stu Steve Souza join the band, who originally, um, was, uh, the lead vocals for who was now Testament, which they were, like, uh, earlier called Legacy, but due to, you know, trademark issues, they changed their name to Testament. Um, but, uh, and then after Steve left in, uh, I think, like, an... Early 05, they picked up Rob Dukes. In 05, they did Shovel, Shovel Head a Kill Machine. Uh, in 07, they did Exhibit A, The Human Condition. And in 2010, uh, Exhibit uh, B, The Human Condition. Or uh, Exhibit A, The Atrocity. Uh, the Atrocity Exhibition or something like that. It, it, uh, I, keep, I keep forgetting what the album's names are called. But all great albums, in my opinion. This one is no exception. I love this album. I'm just going to spoil it right ahead. Um, but for those of you who aren't in the current lineup, uh, Steve Zetro, Souza on vocals, uh, Lee Altus and Gary Holt on guitar, Jack, Z uh, Jack Gibson on bass, and Tom Hunting on drums, which is kind of funny because they were originally going to release this album back in January, but due to... Uh, Tom Hunting, it finding out he had some sort of stomach cancer, they had to delay it until, well, until today. Even though the, the album is going to be technically going to be released tomorrow, I got the early version and got to listen to it today. And holy hell, this album is just insane. It's just insane to listen to. Like, it... it just boggles the mind on just how well preserved they are. Like, my God, like, this, I love this album. Like, there is no if and or buts about it. It's not my favorite X this album, by any stretch. It's not my favorite. Because I'll eventually do a metal month on Exodus, but... Man, just, it's just insane. We start off with the title track, Persona Grata, which is... Seven and a half minutes, and it's just seven and a half minutes of just pure thrash devastation. Tom Hunting has did not lose anything. He sounds it sounds like machine gun fire going off. Like it honestly kind of reminds me of some of the Rob Dukes era, like in terms of just like it sounds like a freaking Uzi going off. Um, Lee Alt or not uh, Lee Alt is just is just insane, and Gary Holt literally I swear jacks off to a guitar. Like there is no other if and or there's no way around it. This man just loves playing guitar. Jack Jack Gibson's bass is just a booming throughout this album. Steve Souza, okay, here's the thing with Zetro. His vocal delivery is an acquired taste, a very acquired taste. He's got that, it sounds like that. You know, it kind of sounds like a dog that got kicked in the ass and it's trying to bark at you. 
Um, but I kind of like it in a way. It, it's it's kind of odd, but I kind of like it in a way. Uh, I like Steve. I like uh, Souza. I think he's a killer, killer thrash. He has a killer thla thrash delivery. But I can see why his vocals kind of turn people off a little bit. He does go a little bit goofy on this album. I will admit, I will admit he does go a little bit goofy on this album. But holy hell, this album is just brutal. Uh, the title track, seven and a half minutes of just pure awesomeness. R.E.M.F. Just groovy. This this is a groovy song. Prescribing horror. Holy Christ. This song is just... This song is dark. I, I think it tells... I think it talks about abortion. I think this song talks about abortion. Like, it, it sounds like it talks about abortion to me. Because... Just... Oh, God, the lyrics. Like... Gary Holt is a very odd and somehow amazing, like, he is a genius, don't get me wrong, this song is just so macabre, though, and little added, you know, little added, you know, baby screams in the end, that just makes this downright horrifying, this is a pretty dark song for Exodus, and that's kind of saying something. Uh, the Beans will continue. Great, just it's probably one. Of, it's one of the shorter songs. So the sound is an hour long, and it's only tw hell. Only has twelve tracks. There's like two of them that are like three minutes. Uh, the years of death and dying. It all, I'm not going to lie. This sounds like an epic power metal song in terms of guitar work, like. It sounds so epic. Like that's what that's what this album is. It feels like an epic uh, adventure. There's a little bit of melodicism here and there, but it's just straight ahead thrash, just murder. Like damn near every track is a banger to me. Uh, one of the singles, clickbait, just like that freaking machine gun fire. Just Jesus. Like I swear to God. Like, I swear I get Rob Duke's vibes off of this album. Like, if Rob Duke sang on this album, this would have been way different. Because Rob Duke's has, a, like, a different a vocal delivery. But holy shit. Uh, Lunatic Liar and Lord. Uh, Lunatic Liar Lord. Just, Jesus, those riffs. Oh, man. The solos on this album are just insane. I mean... Gary Hall is the Tony Iommi of Thrash. You can fight me on that. He's just insane to listen to. Like, he has kind of similar but very different deliveries in terms of his um souls. Like, they're almost predictable in a way, but at the same time, they're very unpredictable. Uh, the Fires of the Vision, just a straight ahead, just simple kicking in the teeth. Like, this album is just mosh pit worthy. I mean, Exodus is my mosh pit worthy, without a doubt. And Anti Seed, the riffs remind me of Burn Hollywood Burn off of uh, Exhibit B, The Human Condition. Tell me if I'm right. It's like. Dun, 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 it sounds something like that. J oh my lord. I just. This album, I. I'm going to listen to this album most likely again. I'm going to be blaring this shit at my work. I'm not going to lie. Well, at least when I have my headphones in, but... Oh, my God. I mean, the only thing... The only little nitpick I have is... The production is flawless, in my opinion. Uh, the bass is exactly where it needs to be. I feel like some of the tracks could have been a little bit better, like Elitist and Slipping Into Madness. They're good, but not great. And the instrumental, I forgot what the hell it's called, like, Kasana, whatever the hell it's called, doesn't really fit on Exodus. It sounds like a country song. 
But then it goes right into uh, Lunatic Liar Lord. If you would have just made that, then that would have been a lot better. But no, they just did that and I don't know why. But overall, I'm going to give this album an A-. minus. This album, it's, it's Exodus. Come on. It, this may be better than Blood In, Blood Out. I don't know yet. I'm not going to make that statement just yet because I actually haven't heard that album in full yet. Um, I think this is actually, this is the third Exodus album I've listened to in length. i listened to Shovelheaded Kill Machine, Tempo of the Damn, and then, then this album. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to be listening to the older stuff when I get around there, but yeah, A minus, guys. So yeah, what you guys think about this, uh, new Exodus album? Let me know down in the comments section below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Join the herd. I'll talk to you next video. All hail Gary Holt. Peace out.